due to traffic, I was stuck. Uh, I would request everyone to rise for the Pledge of Legend. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So, Heidi, I think you're going to read. She is. Okay. Adequate notice of this meeting uh, as required by the Open Public Meetings Act of 1975 has been provided by an annual notice sent to the Home News Tribune, the Sentinel, the Star Ledger, News India Times on January 5th, 2020, and posted in the main lobby of the municipal complex on the same day. Good. Thank you. As part of. Call to order, open public meeting. I think everybody is here. We will go for the Library Board of Trustee election. <coughs> Nomination is the first part. Uh, is anybody interested to run for the office? Yes, I would like to nominate Pat Massey for Office of President. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Please call roll. Neville? Aye. Yeah. So all in favor? Uh, it's, uh, what's the, aye. aye. Yeah. So all in favor? Anyone opposed? Thank you. So we'll go for the next position. Is the vice president of the board? I would like Has to nominate Lisa Krauss. I would like to nominate Lisa for the position of vice president. OK. Uh, oh, who wants to do second? Yeah. In the microphone. Oh, sorry. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. 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 Yes. 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 All in favor? No opposition. No uh, who will be the next secretary of the board? Is anybody wants to propose their own name? I'd like to nominate Sue. Okay. Um, I respectfully decline. Okay. Uh, Who's going to do the second? Uh, you know what? I'll nominate um, Neville. Neville? Okay. No, I'd like to decline. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll nominate Wasan. I'm sorry? Wasan? I'm nominating Wasan. Do you have a second on that? I'll second. Are in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Aye. Okay. Thank you. No opposition. Uh, we want to go for the treasure. Position. I, I would like to nominate Sue Kaysen O'Neill. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, all in favor. So now we have a board president. I would like to request a new board president to take over from me, and we'll go from there. Congratulations. All right. Well, okay, well, first of all, I'd like to Thank you all for your support. And um, I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year. And I would like to welcome our new um, trustee, Fiona Mead, uh, who has just started. This is her very first meeting. Um, so I would like to welcome you. And, and just so that you realize, we will be providing some training for you so that you have an idea of what your responsibilities are. Um, but let's move along on the agenda, and what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know whether everybody has had a chance to take a look at the minutes, um, because we just received them, but would anybody like to make a motion to approve the minutes as <coughs> So moved. Via the, via, via email or print out? Because I, I didn't. We only got it in the packet. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I would say we needed to approve it the next time because I didn't have a chance to read it. Okay. I mean, typically we, we that. So I move, I move to that. table this until next month. Is there a second? Second. Are you here? Yeah, no, that's Aye. fine. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Any abstentions? And, and just going forward, if we could get a copy of the minutes 
emailed the, the week before, that would be very helpful so we have a chance to go through it. So that is tabled. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the trustee account report. Did everyone have an opportunity to look at the trustee account report? Okay. It's in the packet. Excuse me. No, it's not in the packet. We do, we do not have the trustee account at this point now. Um, we will have it at a later date. Perhaps that can be tabled. Okay. All right, so. We don't approve that anyway. No, we don't approve so it. We, we don't approve it. So, yes, if we could see that at some point. Um, yes, so now we move on to the approval of the bill listing. That is in the packet. <coughs> Has everyone had a chance to review the bill listing? No, I haven't. Which, we just got it five minutes ago, right? In the packet? Well, if you could take a minute to review it and see if you have any questions, because we need to keep up with paying our bills. Yeah, if you, I apologize. This is all a new, a new start, a new beginning, and um, we did not receive this ahead of time. So the trustees have not had a chance to review it until now. So, just no, no, we won't no. table it. Just give a moment to take a look at it. I don't have any questions. Do we have a motion to approve the bill listing for December? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. All those opposed? Any abstentions? <coughs> All right. Next item is the approval of encumbrances. I believe we've been provided a list for these this time instead of um, the director just yeah. telling us. So, uh, just to confirm, the encumbrances cover um, cleaning and maintenance of buildings, professional services. Uh, Mr. Davis, this is this correct? Yes. Uh, these are the encumbrances. Two professionals. So, books and publications. Okay, so. Um, Professional services would include HVAC, maintenance and repair. Yes. Um, alarm systems. I'm just reading it aloud so that the public can also know. Mm -hmm. um, books and publications include um, adult books, children's books, Indian language books, uh, and DVDs. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, we normally do this. We do. We normally do this, I believe, on a quarterly basis. Um, electricity, gas and electric, uh, gas, and then phone, internet. Um, professional services, uh, LMXAC quarterly assessment, <coughs> and books and publications, LinkedIn. Oh, the, sorry, Linda database for libraries renewal. Now, is this, uh, Mr. Davis, this is for, for the year or this is quarterly? Uh, except, for, except for LMXAC, which says quarterly. This, um, the LinkedIn should be for the year, if I'm not mistaken. What, what about the rest? What about um, bake, all the Baker and Taylor, okay. um, DK agencies, Midwest Tate, PSE&G, et cetera? Um, the PSE&G is, is an annual blanket account of the, um, any amount of $100,000. The uh, books and tapes, um, those are quarterly bills there, uh, books and tapes, and Baker and Taylor is pretty much quarterly there. So okay, so if we, how about, if the, how about this, if you don't mind? Yeah, no. If you can break it down for us and introduce it one, like a, one at a time or, or in, individually and explain what each one is, if it's, in, if it's quarterly, if it's yearly, because otherwise we shouldn't be doing it as wholesale if some are, if some are for only part of the year, some are for full year. Yeah, the, what we really need to do is, is vote on each encumbrance individually. Okay. The uh, Quality Facility Solutions is a annual contract that's been approved by uh, City Council. It's been it gone through the proper bidding uh, process. The uh, um, 
Binsky and Snyder is the uh, agreement for the HVAC system. Is that quarterly? That's annual. It's annually. So it's eighteen thousand dollars annually. Okay. So let, let's just go one at a time. Okay. Great. So do I have a, a motion to approve the encumbrance for quality uh, facility solutions for cleaning and maintenance for the amount of um, fifty thousand dollars? Fifty-one thousand dollars. Sorry. No. No. no fifty thousand dollars. Right. Fifty. <coughs> Oh, you're right, you're right. Sorry. It went down. I'm the wrong thing. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. All those opposed? Any abstentions? All right. Now, if we could move on to Binsky and Snyder. Binsky and Snyder is a annual uh, uh, contra uh, agreement for the 18K. 16K. 16K. 16. 16. I'm sorry, uh, for 2020, it's 18K. I was reading uh, 2019. I apologize. Right, it's 16,000. Right. So wow, that's the second one that the price has gone down. Mm -hmm. um, all right, do I have a motion to approve Binsky and Snyder in conference? So moved. A second? Second. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Aye. All those opposed? Any abstentions? All right, now we'll go to AFA Protective Systems. Uh, for alarm systems in the amount of ten thousand dollars. That's a that's an annual uh, agreement. Any of these they have reduced the price, or is it because of the market competition? Itself? What do you think? Um, it's because there we've we've. Or are any facility? It's because we it's because we streamline services and okay. it's, it was lowered. Okay. okay. Thank we, you. we are not reducing any facility uh, or services, whatever we are getting from them, right? That's right. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. That's good. So do I have a motion to approve encumbrance for AFA protective systems? So, so moved. A second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? All right. The next one is Baker and Taylor for um, adult books in the amount of $25,000. That is quarterly. That's quarterly. Okay. All right. Do I have a motion to approve the encumbrance for Baker and Taylor, the adult books for twenty-five thousand? So moved. Second. Aye. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Any abstentions? All right. The next uh, Baker and Taylor is for children's books in the amount of $16,000. That is quarterly, madam. Okay. All right. Do I have a motion to approve the encumbrance for Baker and Taylor children's books in the amount of 16,000? So moved. Second. Thank you. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Next one is DK agencies. This is for Indian language books in the amount of $10,000. That is quarterly. Quarterly. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve encumbrance for DK agencies for $10,000? So moved. Second. Aye. Aye. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Next one is Midwest tape for DVDs in the amount of $10,000. That is quarterly. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the encumbrance for Midway's tape for uh, the amount of $10,000? So moved. <coughs> a second? Aye. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The next is for PSE and G. Uh, for gas and electric <coughs> for the amount of $91,000. That is annually. Because again, nine thousand is reduced. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, they, they have reduced the price, That's or right. you guys streamlined the what you said. It's um, lots of uh, changes have taken place. Energy saving changes. Oh, this LED LED helped and it's to reduce. Made a difference. Okay. If you compare I think it to that because yeah, because of this, um, uh, we replaced the, the new HVAC, and then the LED lights. I believe the the AC and the heating system were. <laughs> the big factor. In the lighting system as well, LED right. lights. LED yeah. system. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Yeah, that's Thank excellent. You. That's excellent. 
Mm -hmm. uh, do I have a motion to approve the encumbrance for PSE and G in the amount of $91,000? So moved. Second. 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 Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? All right, the next one is Elizabethtown Gas for gas in the amount of $12,000. That is annually. And it has gone up, but I don't Two know. Two thousand. Okay. Why yeah, that, that, that big difference? Like you have 91 and now you have 12,000 for this uh, Elizabeth gas? No, yeah. Elizabeth, um, go ahead. Elizabeth gas is only at North Edison. Yeah. Eliz Elizabeth gas is only at Edison Library. No, North Edison. North Edison. North Edison. And Clara Barton. Deep both. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and then PSE and G's are paying. And PSE and G is at May. No, no, we have three branches, right? It's, it's uh, what about the other branches? That's what the David is asking. Yeah. Can, you, can you ask that question again, please, sir? Uh, no, the, what is this um, um, Elizabeth gas service for? Because we also have the gas service from PSE. PSE and G. As far as I understand, the PSE and G is uh, at the main library, and the Elizabethtown gas is at both branches, the Clara Barton branch and the North Edison branch libraries. So do you have any idea on how much the gas cost on the main library? Because this one, like the 12,000, looks, uh, comparing with the 91,000, it's like a disproportional difference, right? Can you? Well, PSC and G, it looks like it's a ba Basically, the PSC and G is a combined bill. For the all three libraries? Yes, it's a combined bill. Electrical for all three libraries. But for the, the but gas, gas is, the, the gas is for both branches, for the um, North Edison branch and the Clara Barton branch. What but the main library? It's just a carriage, yeah. Okay. All right, so I need a motion for uh, the encumbrance for Elizabethtown Gas. So moved. In the, thank you. Uh, a second? Second. Thank you. All those um, in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, the next is for optimum for the phone and internet in the amount of $13,000. That is a annual bill. Uh, does this one in include the phone service there or? The phone service bill is, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually um, supplemented to the township. So um, that's um, the P, uh, internet is primarily for the internet services and wireless services in the library. But the phone bill, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the township took up the uh, phone bill mm -hmm. to help the, the library. But we are going to incur higher cost on the phone part, right? Because uh, we're going to pay the township for the phone service. Is that included here or? I can look into it and get back to you, sir. I'm not quite sure. I believe this, this bill is only for. Um, internet. For, for, for the internet. For the usage, not for, not for the phone system. The phone system is separate. That's, that's through the township. If that's what you were asking. Yeah, but uh, we also need to pay the township for that service, right? But that wouldn't be okay. listed here. How this is encumbrances for the, for, for the coming year. Yeah, but the, the point is that it, when we okay. include both phone and internet, we probably want to include them, both of them here, right? Because uh, otherwise you are, you, know, you are trying to divide it into smaller amount, but uh, this one is for them, both phone and internet. Right. So is this only internet? That's all the internet right there. Okay. okay, so, so for future yeah. reference, can we remove the word phone because it's kind so of it's confusing? So it's not the phone? It's not, not the phone? No. Oh. Okay, so maybe next time you can see. It's a new account. I mean, it, it's, it was account name. Okay. 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 So how should I? In which case. Any more discussion? <coughs> okay, do I have a motion to approve the encumbrance for optimum, uh, the annual uh, encumbrance for optimum for internet in the amount of $13,000. So moved. A second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? All right, and then the next uh, individual bills greater than $10,000. We have professional service LMXAC, that's our quarterly assessment, 
in the amount of $28,125. Do I have a motion to approve the, um, that encumbrance? So moved. Second. Any second? Thank you. Uh, all those uh, in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, and the final one is for books and publications from LinkedIn, and that's our Linda databases for libraries renewal for 2020, and that is $13,125,000. Do I have a motion to uh, approve that encumbrance? So moved. Second? Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right, so we have finished with the approval of encumbrances. Now the next item on the agenda is the acting director's report. So I will turn that over to you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much, Heidi. <laughs> uh, I appreciate, uh, I like to um, appreciate the, uh, the council members here, the board members as well, all the uh, citizens. I just wanted to introduce myself my name is Tamora Davis, and as acting director, uh, um, apart from managing the library uh, daily operations, I'm here to take the vision and direction of the Board of Trustees and implement it into the, the best of my ability. I look forward to working with you all. Thank you very much. And so in going into my report, uh, <clears throat> thanks so much, honey. Uh, in terms of contracts, um, the janitorial uh, services contract was awarded to Quality Facility Solutions um, through the Edison Township Purchasing um, Department using the proper bid prop, um, speculation process. Uh, it is not to exceed $50,000. There's also an additional contract that was signed uh, for the e efficient long services. It was signed November 13, 2019, and it's for um, removal of snow for $65 per hour. Uh, we received a, I have a quick question on that one because uh, for this one, do you have any detail on the contract with uh, snow removal? We do have a contract. I can like, even, for example, uh, one thing I want to uh, check is that the library will determine when they will come here to perform the snow re removal, right or not, or the contract will determine because we had this kind of clause in the uh, contract before, and it's, uh, I think it's not reasonable for the service contractor to determine. Well, it does say here that after snowfall reaches two inches, that the efficient lawn service will remove snow from sidewalks and entranceways concurrently during normal business hours. So <coughs> they're basing it on um, the same way that our previous one did. That's what yeah. it's saying here. I think we should change that language. Yeah. They started. contact me, just so everybody, they do contact me before, so I had to step out. Um, they do contact me before they come. They ask me, they call, um, Mike calls me and asks me, does he, do I want him to come? Do I want him to pre-salt? Okay. Um, whatever he has to do, he contacts me. Um, I, I know there was an issue. I don't know if it was this yeah. vendor or another vendor, but I, I, no, I know. it was there another there vendor was, last, week, last winter. Yeah. There was a comp. There was it, an yeah. general, I mean, in general, that's fine. I just don't want that. You know, in the contract, we're binding by that. You know, something like, you know, they say, uh, like, you know, almost no, no snow, but they see some snow flurries, and then they come, right? And maybe you determine that. Yeah, okay, he does, no, Mike does not, no, Mike doesn't do anything unless he contacts me first, okay, or, that, or I contact fine. him. I just don't want that one to appear in the contract, because. Uh, so, so you want something changed? Is that what you're asking? Is that what he's, 
I don't know. I missed the, the, the beginning. So the contract was already signed. Um, you know, we discussed at the le or two meetings ago. Um, actually, that should have come before the board. You know, for us for input, but that's water under the bridge. But I, I think I'm comfortable enough that if he is calling you, um, yeah, that's, that's and, and Mike has done our lawn service. Mike Efficient has done our lawn service for seven years now. Um, this year, when we put out for the bid for uh, to see who wanted to do snow removal, because we usually don't get people that want to do it for some reason, but this year he did okay. uh, uh, ask and we awarded it to him this year. So, so far have they come to do snow, no, snow removal this year? Have they? No. Uh, any other questions in reference to that particular contract? How long is this contract for, one year? Yes. One snow season. One snow season. Yes. Okay. Um, so maybe next year we could make it clear that in the contract that we say we call them and it's not up to them to decide, you know, whether to come or not. Okay. Would you, I mean, I can have them change it if you want for, and re-sign it if that's what you want to do. That's not a problem. No, as long as you're working well together, we can leave it at that and trust your judgment. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do, do they do the lawn cutting also? Yes. <laughs> During the summer? Okay. Because okay, I, that, I can see. Okay. So. That's fine. I saw this one. I think uh, we have that two inch, uh, you know, there. Okay. All right. Grants and funding. Uh, I'm proud to say that the Edison Public Library received a grant from the Mun Municipal County Office in the amount of $6,500 for archival management. Um, we have great archival material that deals with the history of Edison Township and the historiography. This goes far back as 1929 and prior to that. Um, so we, uh, the librarians, had gotten together and we worked on making sure that this contract can come through. So it's, it's a great joy to have this contract. Um, also, there's the New Jersey State Library Construction Bond Act. Um, I think it's, um, a great opportunity for library to apply for the New Jersey um, Construction Bond Act. Um, it's for in the amount of 125 million. Um, as of January 6, the uh, grant is open for applications. Uh, we can apply as early as March 9th uh, for capital improvement pro projects for Edison Township Public Library. Uh, library technology. Our library currently currently has 39 patron accessible computers. These are currently running on Windows 7, which is running the end of its uh, to the end of its support. And most of uh, most of them are over 15 years of age. Um, and the best practices is to main, to remain comparable with technology. So some of these particular computers, uh, computer technology, need to be upgraded and replaced. Um, we have great programs at the library with. Uh, our librarian, uh, with our librarians and reference librarians, we have uh, the we have various different book clubs at at diff various libraries. We have one at North Edison Book Club, at the Branch Book uh, Page Libraries Book Club at Main Library. We have the Bookies Book Club at Clara Barton Library. Um, we have ongoing ESL classes at e um, EPL. We have a Indeed program that's taking place for job readiness tutorial because we have many patrons that come into our library inquiring about how to apply and how to find jobs. Most of our computers are actually occupied by those particular patrons <coughs> who are looking for jobs and, job, and seeking for job readiness. We have the Black Heritage Stamp Ribbon, ribbon Cutting Ceremony that's going to take place at Main Library on February 4th at 7 p.m. Um, we have the Underground Railroad Road in, our, um, in New Jersey program that's going to take place February 12th. We have Before and After Tupac Biggie and the Birth of Hip Hop from a Man Who Was There, February 19th, and Wrongful Convictions in Race on February 6th. <clears throat> I'm I, I have one question on library technology, <coughs> if you don't mind. Uh, you're replacing a 39% computers. They're 15 year old. I know you were not there when uh, I think David has raised. Do we have a new kind of computer like laptop or kind of or, uh, or Apple related computers? We can use it 
I mean, to I, give them like you know modern technology to our staff to work on it. I think that's that's a um, I, I appreciate your inquiry. I think that's a, a great question. I think that, that that can be open to discussion with some of the staff members in the uh, computer technology department, in the IT department, um, in terms of where we're going to go with uh, 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 computer technology. What One thing that I can say that's wonderful, a lot of the students that frequent our library, a lot of the high schoolers, they have their own, uh, the, the high school supplies them with Mac computers. Right. Um, and they, uh, they supplied them with these particular Mac computers throughout the year. Uh, what we have done in terms of upgrading our te technology at North Edison, we actually created what's called a multi-purpose room. And in the room, we have various different types of things taking place from video gaming. We had a great video gaming program where we had up to 10 students in there uh, util utilizing the screen and what have you. Um, so. The, I think that's uh, open to discussion. I think that we need to bring before the board a comprehensive plan in terms of upgrading the computer technology. And what I would do uh, moving forward is to discuss that with the staff members in the computer technology department. Okay. No, good. Good. good uh, you're doing a lot of analysis. Any timeline you have for this? Well, um, we, we've been discussing it as far back as maybe the last eight months. We did do some upgrades in our um, library um, in terms of some new window computers, but you, you raised a very important question in terms of whether or not we're going to actually ascertain Apple computers. I think Apple computers are Apple Pro for um, students that's looking to engage in uh, creative content in terms of technology, so that's something that we may want to consider doing. But again, that's a, that needs to be discussed with those staff members in that particular department to see the best practices in terms of moving forward. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. I will re really appreciate it by next meeting if you can bring some timeline. I try my best, sir. I try yeah. my best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, yes. Thanks for your efforts. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, also, in terms of building maintenance and security. Um, uh, the uh, problem in the children's room with the uh, leveling floor or the, um, the the problem with the floor in the, in the children's room has been abated. I think uh, Robbie did a, a great job in making sure that um, he moved forward and, and, and handled that particular problem. Um, the multi-purpose room, as I had re recently mentioned, is at the North Edison Branch Library. It's not just for um, high school students, we figured that it's, it's a, it can be a great place for adult patrons to come in who may be doing some conferences. I mean, it's a great screen on the wall. We use it at one point. We use it when we actually had met and conversed with uh, Doug Polk from uh, Cade Associates, and he was able. We was able to see plans and so on and so forth, stuff like that. So, and and I think that's where the library is going today in terms of computer technology. Um, it. Technology is in our face. I mean, you know, people using cell phones um, on an ongoing basis and stuff like that. And I think that it's important to keep up with the technology. And and and, and then I think it's also important to take some of our monies toward and, and, and allocated <coughs> towards upgrading our technology, not only for the staff but also for the patrons at large. Um, Thank you. Yeah. No, I don't even think you need to. Um it looks like there's been a good few library and community sponsored programs and then we have the circulation numbers and um, and the number of books that were processed this month which is excellent so this is really comprehensive um, so thank you very much yes madam thank you Yes, Madam President, thank you. One question I have for the building maintenance, because uh, last year we all, as a board member, we were trying to make sure that our library should be, you know, uh, very decent as compared to other towns close by, like having a good furniture for our uh, employees as well as for the people who are visiting as well as good carpeting and all. Is this something you guys have in a plan? Yes, um, great question. Um, we've met with Cade Associates, and Cade Associates had sent us some sample drawings of some possible upgrades in terms of furniture in the library. Um, I know that there's been discussions with, with staff members in terms of the children's department and, and making sure that we have a nice, comprehensive circulation uh, desk. 
um, and so what, 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 what we're hoping that, that Cade Associates can do is, is give us a, a great comprehensive plan for all of the branch libraries in the main as well, and so that we can start working on these particular upgrades, if you will, um, at the same time, um, and then and, and perhaps give us give ourselves a deadline up to maybe 16 months to, to close out this particular project. And that's why it's important to actually apply for the New Jersey Construction Bond, Bond Act, because not only uh, will we be able to engage in upgrades in terms of furniture and what have you and technology, but we can actually have structural changes inside the library that's needed moving the library forward. Okay. And I hope you are uh, inviting a multiple quotation from the different construction companies for doing this. Yes, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, yeah. yeah, at least three. Yeah, no, just, just, just wanted to make sure that we have a multiple people. To yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, so we have the, um, well, we have the budget worksheet under your report, and then the children's department. Does everybody want to take a look at the budget worksheet? <coughs> this is just for um, is, calendar year 19. Right. We're, I don't think we need to really do right. anything. Right. You know, no, we'll, we for the next meeting, it. we'll have the 2020 budget. Right. And then the Children's Department uh, report mm -hmm. is. Is, is there something in the, I'm sorry, is there something in the packet for the Children's Department report, or is someone just going to give it to us? Mm, I have. A, so we have the Children's Librarian here. She's. Can, if you feel like it, I don't know. I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there was an end of the year report. Unfortunately, when I sent it over to him, somebody put it in an envelope and it got sent back to me. So it didn't get back to him in time to get into the package. I called them and I said, it's it. They sent it back to me. Um, but uh, as far as statistics show, so hopefully maybe he can have that for you in the, at the next meeting. Uh, it looks like uh, program-wise, all branches increased in programming. All attendance has increased all branches, including Clara Barton, <laughs> which I was very happy, um, of attendance programs. Uh, we have, uh, I wish I had a copy with me. Um, we, did, we have done some STEM programs. We've done some computer Java classes, different um, web design classes. Uh, I've been bringing in people in the multi uh, room in the makerspace room uh, to uh, do a number of these different programs that you have suggested. I, oh, I, there's a whole list of them that I did implement that I know the young gentleman that was here for a couple meetings, you know, asked for things, and so we did get them in there. Uh, we've been doing some at the Clara Barton branch. We did 3D printing, printing classes. Um, I have someone coming in uh, in March to do uh, digital art classes for some people, too. Um, I, I have uh, some students fr uh, from one of the colleges coming over to, to do some STEM challenges on a Saturday for me. So we'll see how, the, I told them we'll see how you go with two of them during uh, February and if they're successful, then we can move ahead for that. Uh, I'm implementing uh, next month, hopefully to do once a month, uh, a read aloud program for uh, first to third grade to teach young, children how to read out loud, how to be a storyteller, and we will be reading books together to each other. It's going to be a small group, and we're going to have, and that's going to take place in the multi-purpose room. My children's uh, librarian is uh, helping out at Main Library, our, our story hour room downstairs. Tamora is working with me to make that into a multi-purpose room at Main Library so that we can do more of these things there. My young adult librarians have been doing a lot of programs. We had an Oreo challenge, tasting challenge last month that, that that's the one you mentioned that was so good. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. we, had a, we had a couple teens. We have a successful young adult uh, uh, advisory committee at Maine. So we're in the progress. Uh, we made uh, my part-time uh, YA librarian full-time. 
and now he is pro planning on getting a group together at our, our North Ed, because the North Ed kids don't want to go to Maine and the Maines don't want to go to North, so we'll, we'll make two groups. <laughs> And we will see, They're, they've been making their own newsletter. I'm proud that they, I think they've been really moving ahead for things for the teens. I can't think off the top of my head, but I know Jeff had come to me and he says, I got a new thing I want to try. And he actually wants to try something after hours. Many libraries do things they call lockdowns after hours and they stay to almost midnight on some of these things, but you really don't sleep over. But, uh, and he's all excited and I had to put the brakes. I said, first I need to talk to, to Moore and we have to find out, do we need a security guard there? How many librarians? Do we have to ask the board permission to do this after hours? So I said, let, let me get the logistics for you first, but he's going to do something like that if we can get it. So uh, it's been a good year, despite losing yes. some librarians, you know, on and off. Yeah, it sounds like everything is going very well. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now we'll move on to committee reports. Um, do we need to, I'm sorry, do we need to, I don't think we do need to say anything more about the con library construction bond deck, do we? No, we don't. No, no. Oh, right I'm sorry. Um, actually want to say. Okay, so uh, committee reports. Oh, actually, I, I'd like to add on that. Sure. Um, Council President uh, Joyce Ship Freeman and I were both down in Trenton today uh, for the reorganization of the assembly and the state of the state. One of the things that I had the opportunity to do was speak to various uh, state legislators and a number of them were aware of our libraries, or aware of our library. They did bring to my attention this bond um, act and we have the ability, there's a lot of money just sitting at the table every single year. There are very, very few municipalities that end up getting the amount of money that already has been allocated. I believe that it should be one of our absolute priorities, if not the only priority. Um, we have one of the most well capitalized uh, trust funds in our library system, in our library board of trustees, compared to the entire uh, state of New Jersey municipalities. So that being said, with the amount of money that we have, we can leverage that, go through this act. If we apply in March, uh, you know, we have 30 days to apply. If we put a plan together, uh, we can get significant amount of money. It's just, it's being left at the table right now and I think that it should be an absolute priority over the next two months for us to try to do that. Oh, I would agree because this, uh, it, was, it was many years before they, um, they did pass this Library Construction Bond Act again. I think it happened back in 2017. Um, and I know many of the public libraries are very excited about it. And I think that we should do everything that we possibly can um, to put together uh, a proposal and hopefully get something. I know I was reading part of it. I know they're, they're um, interested in libraries that are uh, working on ADA compliance mm -hmm. and, and you know, other, other items. So yes, I think we should, that should be a top priority. Yeah, so I guess if you're, if you can assemble a facilities committee, yeah. much like how well, we, we had last year. we do have a facilities committee. Okay. So yes, I think that that committee should really be working yeah. on this as well. And also, isn't that um, through a grant writing process? And who's um, the grant writer that's working with the library these days? Is it Chris gonna, or is it the other company? We're going to allow our grant company to do this. Yeah. Millennium. Millennium? Mm -hmm. we okay. Committees. And they're pretty good. Do, do you have any idea on the range of the amount of the grant? Like, uh, the, the grant can range D you know, depending on the amount of work that we're trying to accomplish, it can range from fifty, hundred thousand dollars to millions. It depends on the scope. We would qualify right off the bat. We have one of the highest circulations of books in the entire state. And on top of that, we have the most amount of money sitting. So both of them combined, we can leverage it. We can apply for this grant, you know, hope for the best. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't speculate on numbers. 
it's, it's, it's dollar for dollar match. Though. Oh, okay. Just keep that in mind. It's up to 12, uh, 12 million five is the most you can ask for. Okay. Um, and the oh, minimum is $50,000, but it's a one for one match. Okay. So. Any other discussion? All right, so then let's go on to the committee reports. Um, Bookmobile? Um, no, we have not you know, had a meeting with all the influx and reorganization that has been going on. So hopefully that will be um, getting back on track and maybe we can review all the committees this year and yeah, see. Yeah, I think one of the things on. that we will do is, you know, right now we have um, a bookmobile committee, a facilities committee, a policy committee, um, and we have a negotiations committee, which could also be personnel, um, but we could call it yeah, negotiations. Union, nego union, union negotiations. Yeah, right, union yeah. negotiation committee. But some of us have served on committees. So what I would what I would ask you to do is please let me know if there's any particular committee that you want to either continue to work on, or um, or start to work on and then I'll make sure that we have the assignments in place before our next meeting. Um, okay. Okay, and then the facilities committee. Uh, as Timur had mentioned, on January 10th, on Friday, last Friday, we met, it was Robbie and Timur and myself met with Doug Polk uh, from uh, KAD Associates at the main library. You may recall that we had met earlier uh, at the North Edison branch. We had started there because it was the one single level uh, facility that we had. And we were able to also meet, Carolyn was there, Charlie was there in the children's department and get some good ideas uh, from them. And then on the main level, we also met up with Deborah um, and she was able to give us some ideas of what they had been thinking of because we did, uh, you know, find out from the staff what they were looking for. Um, I really would like to ask Robbie, if it, since we had the report from Carolyn on the children's, could could you come up and give any additional information on um, facilities? Okay, facilities, starting with Clara Barton. Um, I know back a couple years ago we put out bids to have work done at Clara Barton windows the mechanical room floor replaced, um, the elevator room where it was leaking. And I know there was an incident where they, we put it out for bids and we got two bids and one was high, one was low, so we, put it, we tabled it and then we looked at it doing it as um, piecemeal. So that's what we are working on. I have the windows gonna be done on the 20th on Martin Luther King Day, because we're closed, so I'm gonna come in with the guys so we can do to replace the windows and stop the leak at Clara Barton. We're gonna start there. Um, then we're gonna look into replacing the floor in the mechanical room, and then the elevator. I'm just using it by priorities. I figure the leak is the worst in the, in the windows, and then the mechanical room, and then with the elevator room would be the last thing on, that, on my list for that. Um, at North Edison, um, we're move I think the floor came out really, really great over there. The, the companies that we had come in and do the work, they did a fantastic job with leveling it, um, supporting it. That's great. Yeah, I mean, I took pictures of everything, so I have pictures of what they did and how, how it was done. So I think that turned out really great. I replaced the carpet where it was tore, you know, where it was taken up. I, I replaced that. Other than the color change, you wouldn't even know that the floor sank in that room. Um, what else? Um, I don't know. Um, anything, anything about Maine in that meeting room with the ceiling? Anything? No, I have to call the roofing contractor back because oh. it's under warranty and find out why we're having leaking problems in there. And at Maine, we, um, we took the, I took the plastic down and opened that area back up. Um, yeah. I cleaned it up. I put new ceiling tiles in over there. I replaced the carpet that needed to be replaced over there. We moved tables out of the, because everything was like bunched together. So we kind of spread everything out over there. If you come over there and look, you're, you'll be surprised how much room we look at. Yeah, no, it I, looks I like up over, there now. When I was over on Friday, I saw it, and it really is a huge improvement. And it was done, I mean, you had said you brought over carpet tiles that were left over from North Edison. So it wasn't like you were needing to 
you know, buy much to right. do it. Yeah, um, great. One, one thing, uh, uh, for the facilities, I think, I think you're doing a great job. Uh, only thing is, in uh, last year also, we were discussing regarding having a maker's room in the main library. So do, uh, during this analysis and whatever the work you are doing, do you think any opportunity we can put a maker's room in oh. main library well, also? Because right now we have only in the- yeah, That's uh, part of the um, program that we walked around with uh, Doug. Mm -hmm. um, we looked at a lot of the spaces over there. Um, he's going to come up with a plan for us um, to utilize the space that we have properly. Yeah, and, and, and I think part of it was trying to make space as flexible as possible. Um, and it seems like a lot of libraries do have maker space um, available even on a cart mm -hmm. type of thing, something that's movable. Yeah, and we, we, we actually have a, a portable um, cart, maker space cart at the main library. We do have one there. Right. And we right. haven't used it, but we do have one there. Thank you. Okay. Right. Okay. And the next thing on the agenda is the policy committee. And I do have to say, um, from our December meeting, just as with the bookmobile, there really wasn't any time to meet to do anything. Um, we have the tutoring. We have the tutoring policy just about done. Social media is in flux, and collection development. Um, as I said the last time, we really need a lot of input from um, the staff. So there's nothing further to report on that. Now, going into new business, the first item on the agenda is a new attorney contract. Um, so do we have a, a motion or? If everyone looks in, in your packets, there is, um, yes, yes it, 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 you have, there's it, it, information on Braddy Green and LLC, and I would like to make a motion that we hire Dominic Braddy as our uh, attorney of record. So uh, we have this on the uh, sorry, one came, or uh, we oh, have a multiple you. people approached. And I apologize, I'm going to add on to that, that um, we'll need to make a blanket account for uh, to begin for $5,000. I'll second it. Any discussion? <coughs> Just ask a question, right? I mean, yeah, I see whether we got only one, one form who approached us. Well, or? I think what, what the, the, the feeling was, because we were in such flux, we decided that it probably would be best to return to the attorney who had um, previously worked okay. with us. Okay. Most welcome. Yes. Uh, any further discussion? What are the rates? Do we know? Is that in the contract? I'm sorry, did you? What are the rates? The rate. Well, that's, that's that is why we are, um, since we didn't have much time, we are only um, approving it for not more than $5,000 at this time. We'll have more information at the next meeting. Okay. We're appointing a attorney without knowing their rights. Would you like to? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Good morning, God. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> um, what I had done was just uh, use the same rate that I had used uh, in years prior, which is $250 an hour, which is the public sector rate for um, this type of body, libraries that we, uh, that we work with. I'm sorry, $250 per hour? $250 per hour, yes. That was what, how it was charged before? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. I, I didn't hear you. Okay, that was the rate charged before. That was the rate, I believe that was the rate charged before. If it's not the, if I'm misquoting, I will go back and it's easy enough to check, but I'm, I believe we're at $250 an hour. And that was actually, the, um, uh, I guess, uh, two library directors ago were Yes. Whatever it was. That yeah. is common practice. I mean, that was your firm usually charge for the yes. pub public sector? Mm -hmm. Yes. For a size of this? Well, when, so when we first were retained, um, it was, there was labor negotiations. It was also the bookmobile matter. Um, and I believe we did the, uh, I believe we did everything at $250 an hour. But like I said, I can check. There's, I don't, I think it was a negotiated rate, but it is consistent with the flux. We have a range of rates for public sector, private sector, 
uh, corporations, individuals, et cetera. And I believe that I, I'm quoting you the rate that we had in this, but like I said, I could definitely check it. So Whatever it was, I'm willing to stand by mm -hmm. and not have any increase in what it was. Okay, just just FYI, um, our library budget, it was like $6 million, right, around that? And the a number of employees, about 80? Um, the school district of Edison has six, 17, um, hundred employee and 200, almost $250 million budget. And our attorney rate is about 150, less than $150 per hour. Well, that's because it's a larger, it's a larger entity and there's, there's more work there probably, or it's a negotiated thing, but I cannot work for 150 an hour. Okay. I just want to bring it to the public attention that this is the rate that we're getting. That's, that's, all. I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to bring it to public attention that this is the rate that we're getting. Well, and what, just for your benefit, um, my firm, I've been doing this for 30 years. I have a practice. I represent a lot of public sector um, entities, a lot of libraries, Bergen County Library Association, Ridgewood Library, um, you know, libraries throughout the state, all kinds of municipalities are currently representing uh, the city of Union City and an action in Jersey City. I also represent Jersey City. So I bring experience particular to that and not, you know, um, quite frankly, we just don't, we can't go as low as 150 an hour for the type of work that we would be doing here. Okay. Uh, Ms. Frank. Doreen, do we, do, yeah, yeah, maybe Councilman, you would know how much is the I think council uh, attorney charge. What's yeah, the I, I think uh, w I wouldn't be opposed if you guys would be interested in tabling this to look at uh, what we previously <laughs> had and comparing it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Maureen. I think with our attorneys, we're I think we're at one seventy five. Is that not correct? Uh, I don't oh, okay. All right. Uh, I would like to add when we researched this going back up, what we had to what four or five years ago, I'm trying to remember. I'm bad with dates, but it was a number of well, years ago. It was a number of years ago. We had reached out to a lot of different um, uh, library directors in New Jersey and polled and found out who they used, what rates they got. And at the time, uh, Mr. Brady's rates were pretty much exactly what everyone else was paying, number one, number two. Um, what most people don't understand is library law is highly specialized. It, it, we cannot use, we were using the town lawyer. The problem is the town lawyer is not versed in library law, which is its own specialty. So we are better served by a lawyer who is a library lawyer versus some, any other type of lawyer. And how much was it our lawyer, that the, the one that got fired, was charged last year? I believe the average was between six and eight thousand dollars a month. I'm not no, sure. Per how hour, many hours. I think it's one forty-five, right? I'm not sure how much it was an hour. I, I'm not sure how much I, services I think, we use them for each month, but um, it but showed up. But they charge up by hour. I never see attorney charge by month. I never see her, hear any attorney charge by month. Is that so? Well, that's what came I, in on our um, bill listing. That's the yeah, only reason that I But as far that. as I remember, I it, was it was 145 I would, I would also per hour. Like uh, I'll make a attorney, recommendation. We were never told what the price per hour was. I think was. we should table it. Well, at least we should we ask for it. We were not given any information any on an, about the attorney can other we? than here is our new attorney. So I couldn't tell you anything about the attorney. Then we're not doing our job without asking how much was the I just want to make a recommendation. Uh, in no way am I challenging any sort. I know you've, you've done years of worth of work um, for Edison Township and especially the Library Board. I'm no way am I challenging credentials at all whatsoever. I understand that it's very specialized. Uh, if uh, I, I don't see the harm in for now, just uh, tabling this, considering that we just got this number and we can run through. Uh, yeah. yeah, we well, can see the only this thing way. Yeah. I understand. My concern is that we do have negotiations going on, and okay. we are going to. I can make it a little. Holding, we are holding the employees up on their, you know, well-deserved raises. Okay. And since we're only looking to give Mr. Brady up to five thousand dollars, I don't think that's an unconscionable amount just to get the union nego negotiations going, so that we can give the employees 
you know, what they're due because their contract expired on the 31st of December. Oh, is it capped at 5,000? Is yes. that what it is? Yes. Oh, yes. okay. That was, that yes. was my motion. We were going yes. to address Got anything it. further going right. forward, but we wanted to cap it tonight at 5,000 just so we can get the union negotiations That makes more sense. Started. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so then oh, do we want to repeat the motion that, that we're... Lisa, you want to repeat the motion? I'll, I'll repeat the motion that I would like to, uh, to, to move that we hire Braddy Green and LLC for no more th for no more than five thousand dollars until we revisit the situation. I don't is second. <laughs> All right. So um, we're not signing any contract or any any thing permanent. No, we are capping it at we're five thousand dollars. We're capping it at five thousand dollars. Negotiations. So. And, and I can agree, uh, just credit. as far as contract, I can agree to the cap of $5,000 pending whatever negotiation yes. rate, but we will have to enter into a retainer agreement so that there's an attorney-client relationship. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. So we'll have Absolutely. to. Absolutely. All right. All those in favor? Thank Aye. you. Aye. Aye. Uh, no. 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 I guess that doesn't All right. Much. Any abstentions? No. no. And by the way, I really don't understand the logic that just because the number of clients or number of issues were less and you have to charge more. I just don't think that's the reason that Edison taxpayer has to pay much more. This is $250 an hour versus $145 an hour. The reason just being number of cases being smaller or you, that's not the valid reason for that is a not the re rate. That is not the reason, just to correct you. The reason is not that we're, you're smaller and I'm, I'm charging you more because you're smaller. What I'm That's saying is that there are attorneys it, right? that do volume of work and not necessarily of the quality that we do and, um, and are able to, to have a lower price. And quite frankly, I'm going to represent to you that you get what you pay for. And well, if you're paying 145, my, my, my public sector, my, my private sector rate is $500 uh, an hour and that is paid um, regularly. And uh, so I'm, you know, I, I understand your concern, and I'm addressing it. But that is, you know, when you're, if you hire an attorney for one forty-five dollars an hour, you're going to get an attorney that's worth one forty-five dollars an hour. And Which I've, has represented, been I've represented, I've represented, I have represented the, the municipality before. I've represented the library board before. We got a great result with respect to the book. We'll be able to re actually recoup two hundred eighty thousand dollars of of. Uh, you know, what was spent on the bookmobile. So no, just you I, have to understand that you. we are responsible for the taxpayers' money. So uh, it's our right. What uh, Shannon yeah, is saying cool. is uh, a really valid point. Uh, even though we are putting the cap of 5,000, if there will be negotiation, it will reduce then uh, we should have an opportunity to adjust that amount if we keep the same attorney. I mean, my main concern is that. that uh, township and the Board of Education, they can get a much different rate. So, like, we need to, you know, have some concern because it's a taxpayer's money, right? Right. Thank you. <coughs> All right. The next item of business is the new accountant contract. You'll see in your packet uh, for Supli, Cluding, and Company. Do I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Uh, one quick question. Do we know the, the, the amount that we are paying for the previous year's auditing? <coughs> When you hired the previous one, I don't believe we were given that information. Yeah, we, we did not know. It looks here as though for um, 2019 is mine. We proposed that. Well, no, the previous auditor, we were not really privy to too much information about. That yeah, so I think, I think I think we should have that information because we don't want to put ourselves in an odd situation where 
you know, we, we should have those data somewhere. Yeah, I mean, and that's a kind of due diligence work. When you sign something, you definitely like know the previous no year's number and then you propose something, right? I mean, it's otherwise you're just like, okay, well, let's get something and without. I, I hear what yeah. you're saying. I think then we would have to perhaps go back in the records and see what the fees were. I think we should be. For yeah, I, believe it was I mean, place. just take for example, if last year is 5,000 and now you put 9,000, I'd definitely be against it, right? Because uh, if last year is 9,000. I have a feeling it was, a much, it was much higher than that. Well, let, let, let me just ask, Mr. Mr. Davis. We see, we, we're trying to find the numbers for you right now. No, no, what I was going to ask I'm is, sorry. What, I mean, what work did you do to find out, to, to, find, to, to, to get uh, Supply Clooney and company? Well, she w that particular company was actually worked here previously under the um, direction of the previous director, Judy. And so that was recommended um, to that particular person. Okay. Um, as far as I understand, that particular company did adequate work and um, things worked out well, so it was a recommendation. So we were just given, you know, if, if the board wanted more options, then, you know, we can see if we can, you know, look into it. But that was a, a highly, that was highly recommended. So that's why we put, I presented it before the board. Thank you. All right. So do you want to have a, a, is there any motion to approve this company? Or do we want to table it? I, um, I want to table it because, uh, I mean, at least we need to show our due diligence before we approve it. Okay, I would also right. like to ask, but I know by law we must have, um, a, we, we must have our yearly audit. When does this need to be started by? It, it has to be completed by June 30th. You have okay, time. So we so have we time. Have, yeah, we okay. have time. I think okay. we can table it. Okay, all right. So, I'm sorry, Pat, what happened to the attorney appointment? Or did, did we already vote on it? We voted on the attorney. We did a vote on the attorney. I just want to double check who's, who's voting yes on the $250 per hour rate. We did not vote on that. We, 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 are we did not vote on that. We voted for um, not to exceed $5,000. But if the attorney start, is there still a way that we don't have to use this attorney? Uh, even so 5000 Once the negotiation is starts, still, is there still a way to back out? Is that what you're saying? I, I yeah. just want to make sure Edison residents know that the, what's, what's going on here. No, this is excellent. I think uh, this is what we want is full transparency, of course. Yeah, so yes, that's what I'm definitely. asking, uh, you know, is once the, you said that we need the attorney to start the negotiation, right? Right. Did we start negotiation last year this early, in January? The contract expired uh, the contract December 31st. Expired, yeah. Yes, their contract expired. So once they started, is there any, still any, I know we are allowed $5,000, but once this attorney starts, is there any way that we can still back out not using this attorney? I just want, to, I, want you no, guys. I think that the, the, word yes, that the is question is that. Uh, yeah, this is not a lifetime commitment. No, not no, lifetime. Not lifetime. Not, I will, I will lifetime. continue this to is a search yearly for a, appointment, for right? a better, uh, better option for the library. I mean, because we know like a BOE, you know, the township, but they have a much better rate. Right. So my question uh, is Well, that, excuse uh, me, but we did already vote on this, and it did and pass that we will, that we will not exceed so $5,000. I'm asking another question. Okay, I would, I would like to add, just to address what, what David just said, the reason we originally we switched away from the township attorney is that we were not getting service from the township attorney. Every time we tried to contact the township attorney, we were not getting responses. We were Th not that getting action. That I'm fine. Plus, I'm, can I please finish? Yeah. Thank you. Plus, we learned that the township attorney was not versed in library law and was not guiding us adequately because there were things in library law that he did not know that we were not following that we needed to follow. It is very important that, amongst other things, we follow library law. If we have a, a, a lawyer, no matter how cheap or how, um, how, how good money-wise this lawyer is, if this lawyer is not versed in library law, then we inevitably will be doing something wrong. Okay, can I we ask something? We need to make sure that we do things correctly. Okay, can I ask something? Are you done? Okay, so what happened to the last year's attorney who also helps the, with the union negotiation, who's charging $145 an hour? We fired him, we fired that company, whoever that is. That's a library law company, right? 
What happened that particular to that? that particular attorney well, did not seem to know with much the union about contracts. So I don't law. see what they did wrong that they get fired, and we are hiring a much more expensive company to do the same job. What, what are the reasons behind this? Well, $145 per hour versus $250 I think it was hour. more than that. It was, it was more than just the fee. And I think if you go back, I'm not even sure whether that was $145. I would have to go back and look because to me we? it seemed as though the attorney fees were very, very high. The past year, year and a half, two years, the attorney fees have been extraordinarily high. Okay. So Here? we would have to go back and yeah. look at that. Thank you. Here is my request and uh, to Lisa's point. I mean, I believe the, the attorney for the township, for the BOE, they are on their own specialty. I mean, the, the library attorney yeah. have its own specialty. It means that, you know, if the city council can have that kind of rate, we should be able to do our best to find a, you know, a much better rate, comparable rate for the library. I mean, our, as we said, as we said, we will we will explore further. But until that time, we will we will continue with the with the vote that we had that we will not exceed five thousand dollars, and then explore so that we have more information for next meeting. I think you will be surprised that some library attorneys do charge quite you know, a higher rate. But we will have all of the, the <coughs> documentation needed. But I think so we need to move. Is there another um, vote next, next meeting? Excuse me? It, when would be the vote to appoint this company, this attorney? Well, we've just, we, we've just, that we were starved for, with $5,000. And the appointment, the appointment, we would have to, we would have to do that next month after we have more information. Okay. But we will, we will proceed with what we did and what we, what we, um, what was voted on. The next item on the agenda are the library holidays uh, for 2020. And you have that in your packet. I don't believe this is something we approved because this is also with the union contract. To. I guess yeah, this is just for informational this. purposes. And Matt. we're not voting on the board meeting dates, we're, but we will have to figure out and very quickly um, about the April 14th meeting. And I would really urge everybody to take a very careful look at. at any of the dates to see if there's any possible conflicts. Uh, can I just request, Mr. Davis, uh, for the next, if, can you please email us the list of dates for the meetings, obviously. Will do. Um, and include them in the packet for, ne for next month. Okay, will do. Thanks. I just, when, go, going back to the subject in terms of dealing with the accounting, um, last year we, I have gotten the correct numbers. We spent $10,000 on the accountant based on what, we, what, I, what we're looking at right now. I'm sorry. Could you we we spent ten thousand dollars last year for the account, for the audit. I'm sorry. For the audit. I'm sorry. For the audit. In in that case, I think we can actually go back because this accountant is only charging nine thousand. That's a thousand dollars savings. So. But I thought last year we had a performance audit too, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. It's, it's the scope of work. Two years. That was two years ago, based on. So last year it was the identical scope of work. Did you see it? Last year was financial. But last year was financial. Two years ago was uh, performance. I have a copy of the scope of work right now. Did you check that the scope of work is the same? You, you need a copy of it, sir? No, did you take a look at it? Did you take a look at the scope of work to make sure that it's identical? Mr. Davis, I'm talking to you. Did I take a scope or look at yes. it? I did look at the uh, report. Are they identical to the one that we have right now? Uh, actually, I can't answer that right now. I'll give so, back to you. So, so my thing is, yes, the amount might be different. The question is if the scope of work is the same. Well, let so me get back to you. Go, why do, yeah, uh, perfectly. Why don't you take a look at it? And, and then I get right can, back to we you. We can get back to it. Okay, great. Okay, thanks. Yes. All right, the next item on the agenda is the director search, which I am going to suggest that we table um, because we have too much going on and there has not been a chance to... Um, we're just trying to get things stabilized. We are just trying to get things stabilized. 
Um, so I think we will remove this item from the agenda and we will table it. Do we have a, do we need a motion to do that? I think no. we should procedurally. Yeah, okay. I think so moved. Second. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? All right. Unfinished business. We have the cleaning contract resolution. Well, we just already we put that in a Yeah, so yeah. we don't really need that. No. Yeah. Sorry. 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 And we did this, we did this. Tell me. Trustee. Trustee Banking. Banking. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Is that the PD bank or something? Uh, unless. Uh, uh, what exactly is this? Mr. Davis, um, trustee banking account I see, is this, a deal? I'm just curious, For are we talking about just reviewing the, at the account or I know there was uh, confusion about, about switching Well, that, that, was, that was put on the agenda um, because I know at one point there was talk in terms of unfinished business of where the monies would go in terms of earmarking uh, monies for capital improvement. So that's why that was put down there in terms of how much will we allocate in a separate bank account for capital improvement purposes. Okay, so I think we're, we've, well, been, we've we agreed that we're that doing what? I don't think, uh, I don't remember we have ever discussed no. like to separate the okay, trustee can, bank account no, into two separate bond 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 the bank accounts. Yeah. We're moving for capital improvement. Oh. Was this put on the agenda maybe um, because we had some discussions about where the monies were going to be placed? Yes. yes. Is, is, that, what, is yes. that what this is? Yes. Okay. So we're, just, just to clarify, we are moving the bank account from where previously is to BCB? Is yes. that, okay. Um, I want to clarify on this one. First, before we move the bank account to a different bank, we needed to make sure, I mean, when you move this one, the Deposit safety of the deposit is our number one priority. Mm -hmm. So you have to review the risk of that bank. The deposit, when you put the deposit into a bank, there is a high risk to our deposit if the bank is in distress. It's not like a mortgage or something which you have collateral. So interest rate is not going to be the only factor. That's one of the main reasons, uh, the main concern that we discussed last year. Plus, um, I think the auditor last year clearly told us that you have to move to a bank. It has to be in a bank that from the approved list. You cannot just move to a, any kind of bank you want. Right. I, th I think that we should table this um, until next meeting because we really need to get the information again. Uh, we haven't really discussed this in quite some time. Plus there was always some discrepancy as to uh, you know whether the board approved to move it or not. Some of the mm -hmm. board seems to think that we approved changing the banks and some of the board mm -hmm. said that we did not. So there is I think that okay. is really is something that we need to um, relook at all over again with the with the new board and the new board president at this time. Okay. <clears throat> Just for um, you know, safety's sake and just, you know, to move forward with, with business for this month. Is that something we can get again, their proposal, and they should be able to approve uh, Yeah, to I us. can. Uh, they don't even have to, you know, come in and give it to us. They can just, you know, can just resubmit the paperwork so that we can look at it again and address some of David's concerns also. And, and if we can confirm that they are on. No, it's not the, my concern because based on the auditor's, like, uh, uh, knowledge, uh, you have to go from the approved list. That's what I'm saying. If yeah. they can also confirm that this bank is, is on, on the approved list that we're allowed to use. Okay, right. then that's fine. Right. Yeah, yeah we can do Okay. So. All right, so let's make a motion to, do we have a motion to so table this? Second. I move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? All right. Uh, the next item, I, the November budget 2019, I'm not quite sure what this well, is. We just look at the, I don't know why that's on there for November anyway. Oh, did we not vote on it? Oh, wait, did we vote on it last meeting? meeting. We, didn't, we didn't do it last meeting. I, so I said um, in, in your package you just had how calendar 
year 2019 ended and that we would have the 2020 budget at the next meeting. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't okay. vote on budgets. So. Okay, so okay. we don't need we'll to. Just, okay. for just for information. November. Did we ever approve the budget for this year? We haven't seen Normally a budget. Normally, it should yet. come in. No, we we're don't. Go, we haven't so, seen. So, so hopefully, see that in Mr. Davis, can you get us the budget for this year so we have it so we can approve it for next that's, year? We'll do. We'll I make do. sure you get a copy that's of it. That's what I said. Sure. We're we're in the process of just looking at that right now. The 2020 budget. Yeah, that'll be next month. Um, and then we've already mentioned that the uh, non-librarian union contract uh, expired, and we need to negotiate that again. Expired January 31st. Actually, it expired 1231. 12, yeah, that's 12, a typo. 31. So. That's a confusing. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. If we so we can. We, we need a negotiations committee. We do need a negotiations committee. Well, I was on the negotiations committee before, and I'd like to be on it again. Yes. Yes. Is anyone else interested? Yeah, is there anybody else interested in being on it? No, I was almost on it. I, I, I need to ask Mr. Brady this because I, you, you did help put together the original, um, <coughs> the original contract. Um, I was supposed to be on it. I'm unavailable before 4.30 p.m. And okay. there was some qu question of whether we could negotiate after 4.30 p.m. I was told by the previous lawyer that under no circumstances could we negotiate past 5. Well, that's not true because everything's negotiable, including when you can negotiate. So we can, uh, like we can certainly, I don't know if they have the same attorney as they did when we negotiated that first contract, um, but we can certainly, you know, make arrangements. I guess they're doing that because they want their negotiating committee to be paid, and so they want to meet during the day when they're getting paid um, to meet, but um, that is not necessarily true. As a matter of fact, you could give the library, if they wanted, if we wanted to negotiate after 4.30, but they wanted to stick to that getting paid, we would give them off during the day when they would, and then we that, would. I, I had asked that and I was told in no uncertain terms that was not possible. Anything's possible. So um, let me just say that I checked with my office manager, I texted her and I was incorrect. I had given you the rate of $200 because when I negotiated with, with, the, with Judy, um, what was her last? Man's back. Yes, she had asked me if I could do it for 200, so we did for 200 the last time. So obviously, I'm not going to charge you the 250. You. I'm going to go back to the 200, and I will. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So yes, we. If you want to so, be on the committee, okay. So we assuming, can do that. so assuming that this is correct, I will be. I'm happy to serve on the committee. Excellent. Excellent. Welcome aboard. Yes. Yes, that's excellent. All right, now we'll open it for public comment. Yes. Tony Pasquale, Two Pine Street. I just have a question about the computers in the library. Um, the gentleman said, I think the, wind, the, the, the computers are older and have um, which, which uh, platform on it? Windows 7. Okay, so Windows 7 support ended yesterday by Microsoft, which means there's no updates to Microsoft anymore. It started, I think, like five years ago, maybe, that they were ending it, mm. which means there's no security updates as of yesterday, which means these computers now are susceptible to hacking without any, any of the security things. Mm. So do the offices have the same version also? No, no. Actually, if, if let me just explain something. Okay. Um, the computers in at, at North Edison Branch has been upgraded as of this weekend. Okay. Um, and so we're going to upgrade them throughout the library. Um, again, I can get back to you with a much more comprehensive answer once I spoke speak to the person in the IT department. I don't want to say anything. No, no, that's, that's fine. My, my concern my is scope. even mm -hmm. if you upgraded them at one branch. The problem is at the other branches, they're all hooked up to the network. Mm -hmm. So now every computer that's on the network that is not Windows 10 does not get the security from Microsoft, which makes it susceptible to hacking into the network now. So you can have one branch fine Windows 10, but Windows 7, all those computers, again, it becomes an open door 
if you don't have these security updates is yeah. my question. So do we have a technology person on staff? Yes, or we do. Or do we use a, okay, because I'm kind of surprised that like this is not an urgent thing because again, you're compromising your network. So even the computers that are in the office that are Windows 10, you are compromising that whole network with these are attached to. And we know corporation these days who have millions of dollars in security on their networks, mm -hmm. they're getting hacked. So, you know, this, this is something I think really needs to be looked at like right away. I know we do have money because I was told what we have like $6 million in the budget or something, whatever we have, or in our, in our bank account. So I really think that this is a priority like now that needs to be and, looked and, into. And I agree with you. This is a priority. All of our personnel computers are completely upgraded. Uh, um, right. And so part of our plan is to upgrade the additional 39 computers throughout all the branches. So we're working on that. What's the time speak. frame on that? I would say within the next 30 days, if okay. not before. All right. I'm just checking because, again, when, when you don't have security updates, you know, you're, you're really in trouble. We, we, we appreciate that. your concern, and sure. we're going we're gonna to make sure we okay. get right on that. Thanks okay. So the, other, the other thing I just wanted to check, um, are we straight out purchasing these new computers, or are we doing a leasing program? Because Ex excuse these me. Excuse me. I just have to remind you that the public comment portion is your opportunity to make a comment, but not to have a dialogue. Okay, that's fine. Just I'll just ask you guys and whoever wants to answer it, and that's fine. All right, so I'm just wondering, is there a leasing program for the computers? Does anybody know that, or do we purchase them outright? Because well, what, I, what I mean is that there can't be a back and forth dialogue. It, you can make comments about your concern, which is excellent to hear. Okay. Um, but okay, I don't, don't want to waste my time talking if there is a leasing program already, because my suggestion would be that we look into leasing the computers, because in the in the nonprofit world, these companies Dell. And, and Lenovo, they offer discounts to nonprofits. You do a three-year lease. Every three years, you get new computers. And then you don't have computers that are 10 years old, that are older. And you even save money at some point because you're getting updated computers all the time. So it's just something that I think you guys should look into um, as far as, as the computers. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's very helpful. That's you know, very helpful. it's what you really should look into, and, and then you're up to date with everything. Right. If you do have information about this, if you would please forward, like, email, email us. Yeah, I can get you the, the, the I can get you the Dell. Dell has on their website, they have a section for a nonprofit, and, you know, it basically, you just apply for that, because I've done that with churches, and it's the same type of thing. Um, you know, so again, that's just something else I, I think you guys might want to look into with that. So. Yeah, thank you very much. Sure. Um, and then just one last thing. Um, I've been coming to the board meetings, I guess, a few of them last year. Um, and I just want to say, un unfortunately, I still see a dynamic here that I'm, I'm you know, not happy about. Um, unfortunately, I'm seeing two sides here. I'm seeing this side of people. I'm seeing this side of people. I'm seeing this side of people arguing about stuff these side of people are bringing up. And I hope that dynamic can change at some point. I mean, this whole discussion about the lawyer, you know, the, the, the one person basically said, um, I think it was Lisa, said, you know, you have to have a qualified lawyer that deals with libraries. Somebody else on the board said, well, but we have a township that's, you know, lawyer that or a board of education. You can't compare those. You can't compare one to another. So I just hope that there's not a argument back and forth just for argument's sake, because you might not really agree with the people on this side or that side. So I really think we need to really pay attention to what we're saying, what we're doing, that was voted on already, and it was brought up again, because it seemed like there was confusion. Again, what's the confusion? Is the confusion just for confusion cause? Or is there a real reason and a real concern about what's happening? So I just hope for the rest of this year that the dynamic starts changing so you guys can all work together and not have a constant battle back and forth. If you go to the council meetings, that you don't see. At the board meetings, you don't see that. But you guys, I mean, you know, a, a fee was brought up, $145. You know, is that guaranteed? Do you have the paperwork saying that? You, you can't just say things 
and just for your cause without having that actual number. As this gentleman brought up, he checked and found out, and I don't know him at all, so, but he found out the actual price. He brought you the truth. So we just gotta be careful what numbers we throw around just for our own cause, our own sake. So uh, appreciate your time, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Hello, first time speaker, first time meeting. My name is Virginia White, 11 Church Street in Edison. I have just a suggestion. Would it be possible for you to get your packets earlier? Or was it just this meeting? You know what? It's just, it, it, it's just this meeting. It's, oh, it's, okay, because it seems it was so hard for all of you. I was watching. Yes, yes, you know, it, you had to review things on the fly, made it a little right. bit difficult. Yeah, it was just this beginning reorganization meeting okay. um, that, that that happened. No, we usually get the packets um, the week before. So that, that should we make have a life feel a whole to, lot easier. To review everything. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, you've noticed. Any? Yes. Good evening. I'm not speaking as council president. I'm speaking as Joyce Chip Freeman from uh, 41 South Main Street. That's what I'm speaking as. Um, we have fundraising at the YMCA starting at 5:30 tomorrow. Uh, the YMCA on Oak Tree Road and we like to have more donations. So far with donations, Edison, we usually beat out the other, we usually beat out South Amboy and we usually beat out uh, Metuch and Edison. We usually do a real good job. My last thing to say is that we have a council, we have a board of education, and we have a library board. And I don't think we should discuss the library fees, I mean the lawyer fees for each group, because as I know, because I've attended college many years, that each lawyer has a specialty in a certain area. So crossing them back and forth for argument's sakes turns off people, people who look at the meetings because I've been around from town to town. This is not the only town that sees this meeting. and. I'm from medicine, been here my whole life. I do not like to be embarrassed talking about things that are unnecessary, all right? So I would like everybody just to do your homework. And if you're on the library board, stick to the library board. Don't, I don't wanna hear about what's happening at the school board. I don't wanna hear what's happening at the council. I just want you, if this is the board you chose to be on, stick to the board. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to say, um, back to the question that I think we're raising the concern because we hear the rate from last year. We're not simply comparing this library board with school board or council. We're also comparing this year versus last year's also. It's a attorney specializing in library laws. And when, when we hear the number 140 or 150 versus 250, that's what raised the concern. And I'm not sure if any, Taxpayer is listening to this, and they, when they hear this number, they won't ask why, and they won't. Excuse there won't me. Be any Excuse concern. me. That's just we my we have discussed this already, and we will look into it further. We, yeah, have, we just, don't need to say it anymore. Yes. Thank you, uh, Keith McCoy, 14 Second Street, Edison. Um, congratulations to the new officers. I hope you have a more productive year than last year was. Um, I missed the beginning of the meeting, so I don't know what happened before new business. Um, with regard to uh, the accountant, Supply Clooney, um, in New Jersey, you need to have a certified municipal public accountant. You just can't have any CPA. Um, and Supply Clooney is one of those few firms in the state, and they've done most of the libraries at one time or another, so they'd be perfectly acceptable. Their rates are always uh, within reason. And I know because I've had to go out to bid for my other library boards over the years, and they're always within range. Um, my main reason for coming up is the previous uh, member of the public uh, had a question about the, the computers and security with Windows 7. And since this is being televised, I want to go on the record that 
um, nobody should be concerned about their circulation records or anything like that because Edison Lo Public Library is part of the Libraries of Muni Middlesex Automation Consortium. And Eileen Palmer, the executive director, is very much aware and very much on top of all these security issues. So nobody should be concerned about their circulation records or their personal records. And I presume that the uh, staff computers are also uh, under uh, security. The only thing that people need to be worried about is uh, going on, shopping on eBay on the public computers. That's where um, the security issue may fall. So um, nobody should have to worry about somebody snooping into their record. They should be worried about getting out their credit card and buying something with a public computer. Um, and let's hope for a more productive year. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Yes. If you look at the April 2018 minutes, the hourly rate was $195 for Peg Schaefer. Just like so you know. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, do I have a... Yeah. I'm sorry, I apologize. Can you just get, state your name for, for the record? I, I apologize. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Christine Sickles. Thank you very much. And I just want to add, um, that's the, I wish that was the number we were given before. It would be a little bit more reasonable, but the number we were given before is 250. And I would be very embarrassed if nobody cares about how much Edison taxpayer is paying. Versus 140 versus 250. I think we're all very concerned about what we pay as for taxes. So let's let's continue. Do we have a motion to go out of public? Uh, I have a raise one thing regarding the agenda. Yes. I saw there was a. Um, um, I mean, in closed session, we have one. This is a library director consultant. That looks to me is a new position. So we needed to discuss that one in public se session. We cannot do it in a closed session. Oh, that was discussed. No, that was discussed at the last meeting. I, I don't see it in the meeting minutes. No, it was, it was discussed in closed session. So if it's a you new cannot, position, then it has it to be discussed session, in right? public. <laughs> I don't, was, maybe we should yeah. consult our attorney. If it's a oh, actually, new position, it's, 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 not, it's, it's, not, it's not a, it's, it's not a it's not a position. It's 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 a consultant. It's it's not it's not yeah. a permanent well, it's position. A pos well, it's, if it's, it's a consultant, it's a contract that uh, I need to be in a I'm just going to earn my money <laughs> here. Uh, <laughs> I, I just want to recommend to the board. I know I you know I haven't moved seats or anything, but you really should not have any discussion about this in open right now, especially since you're discussing what was discussed and closed. Someone said, so I know it was just for purposes of cutting off the. The conversation, but I think that it should cut off the conversation. You should go into closed, and um, I don't know what the issue is because I was just here. The but issue is we can discuss it in closed. The issue is whether this should be no, no, a closed session or not. Excuse me, we should not be discussing it. No, 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 no. no. I'm asking only for personnel and the litigation. I mean, this one is not. I would like uh, councilman to speak on it because I remember in last meeting he said we should not be following what the attorney says always. So we should use our due intelligence to, to make a decision. Attorney is just a consultant for us. So yeah, please add on. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously doing you a not. tremendous favor here. You cannot talk about a personnel issue. This is not a personnel issue. I, this I, is not a personnel issue. This is a new position a new position, a new salary that needs to be paid by Edison taxpayers. Okay, that I'd no. like to make a motion no, that we go not. into closed session. Second. So, no, I'll, I'll All I'll those in it, favor? I'll make it easier. Aye. If, Aye. If, we, if we put this as a professional service, then we yeah, should be okay. This is not a new position. Okay, so, so as long as it's a professional service, we should be okay and we should be okay. Uh, do I have a motion to go back into open session? I second. 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 All right. 
are back in open session. We've just returned from a closed session, and I am, well, I guess we'll wait just a moment. And, all right, I'm not sure what we need to, we really just reviewed the, um, any new hires or staff changes. There was one new hire, and, um, and some of the staff were re- Allocated, I would say we could say that. And then we um, mentioned the uh, number of people who are, uh, several people who are retiring. And I think that's, that's all we need to discuss about closed session. Uh, do we have any announcements? Are there any announcements? Is this the next meeting date? Any of the, the next meeting date is February 11th. And I would just like to say that I, I do hope, I, 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 I want to stay positive, and I am positive, but. I, I, I hope that we can all work together. I really feel glimmers that we can work together. Uh, and I think we're all on the same page. We, we are concerned about, you know, being fiscally responsible and we want to focus on the library and making it the very best that we can for our community, for the entire community. Any other announcements? I don't think so. All right, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yep. Yep. Second. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Did not say that. Sorry. All in favor, sorry. Aye. Yes. Oh my goodness. All right. What happened? I don't know why that's on the record. I don't know. It never has been before. It has it's, just not been been before. it's just an administrative function. You said you wanted to talk about the signers on the checks. Do, do, do you right. Do, do, you, do we need to do that in public session or in open session? Signing. Or is it just administrative? Right now, they, administrative. Right now we have only two because we. Maybe no, it's just administrative. No, no, no. We can't wait until the, no. We can't wait until the next session. Uh, what we're because we can have a two signers right now, right? So we can survive for a month. Well, you have three signers right now. You have Fran. You have. Um, you I had Fran, Fran had David, a... and you had um, um, Shannon. No, so we're going to stick with three signers. Fran? No, no, no. We, we, right now, there, there should be only two: me and the director. Sorry. Why would you be a signer? He, he, uh, was, he used to be our treasurer, right? Yeah, I'm the treasurer. That's uh, right. based on the board's decision. Right. He uh, was because he was the treasurer. I think I would recommend that the new treasurer becomes a sure. signer. Correct. Yes. The yeah. acting director, and if we want to add a third um, for yeah, safe we measure, we should. Yes. I, yes, I, I believe we do need to add a third for safe measure, just, uh, just in case one uh, one of the two is unavailable, because we do need to get bills paid in a timely manner. All right. All right, so I guess we and don't. I guess, oh, and just okay, for the record, we'll just fine. say for the, state for the record that the third person I, um, I recommend should be the, the board president. Especially okay. since we do not have a um, assistant director at this time. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Yeah. Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. All right. Thank you. Do we have a motion assistant to adjourn? Director? Yes. So moved. <laughs> All, right. All right, we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the president, president and just the president to president and the vice president.